Nigga, go. Who? Hey, 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 hey. Get your food. Get your food. If you say one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Oh my God, I said one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Hey, everybody, take a wild guess. What city this happened in? Take a wild guess. I know. Nashville, Tennessee. I'm joking. <laughs> happened in Chicago. That would be my second guess. No, I'm just joking. That's been my first guess. <laughs> that or Baltimore. All right, so it turns out this guy, they was in a hot dog stand. Some kind this is in the heart of Chicago. Yeah. Right? They had a hot a food stand, hot dog stand. What do you mean a heart? What do you mean the heart of Chicago? The middle of Niggerville. That's what I mean. All right, man, you gotta explain these things to white people. That's the heart of <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> when everybody turns black, you in the heart. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. But when I see a white, uh, when I see a black man screaming wearing a white V-neck T-shirt, that's just a red flag for me. Cause I wouldn't not dare wear that out in town. An undershirt in his V-neck. Hey, what you talking about, Kevin? That already tells me this dude's an animal. Yeah, but anyway, so he's got mommy issues too. His mom would probably beat his butt. What? He's probably got mommy issues. His mom would probably did him wrong. Cause that woman wasn't raising a boss. She was calm and just talking. He hooping and hollering. Yeah. So it uh, turns out the the woman, the woman, she tells her son to get a gun. Text. Did? I mean, according to the story, yeah. I don't know what the hell happened. But her son, for some oh. reason, was standing in the door for gun. He was just watching. Well, it's the heart of Chicago. That's the same rational thing to do. Yeah. Keep out have a gun. Mouth. Yeah. When you go into the hot dog stand. <laughs> If I'm going to a hot dog stand in Chicago and I see a guy wearing a white undershirt and it's a V-neck, well, I'm getting a 45. <laughs> this could go either way. <laughs> right? So, and he sees he sees this guy punching his mom in the face. He punched her in the face. Yeah. Closed fist twice. Yeah. Right? So he shoots and kills him. Yeah. It's self-defense. You would think. But then the cops came. Said, I mean, what? that's all white people have to do. If there was two white people, oh, there ain't nobody going to jail. Remember George Zimmerman? If anybody should have went to, well, that was self-defense. I mean, self-defense is self-defense. He was getting punched in the face. Yeah, he was. Hey, getting... let's keep Zimmerman out of this. Let's stick with it's the black. Zimmerman. What did she say? Zimmerman? <laughs> Zimmerman. Come on, let's start talking like the white Mexican people. Mexican with the white man's name. Yeah. Zimmerman. Yeah, say the word from beginning to end. Anyway. None of that Zimmerman. So they decide to arrest this woman and charge the uh, her 14-year-old. Locked him up for self-defense. Case closed. Got a couple of niggas off the street. I mean, if anybody deserves to get shot, it should be a man wearing a white V-neck T-shirt punching a woman in the face. So you arrest the victim. Yeah, she's a victim. She's been beaten. And you arrest her? Yeah. But when I, when I first heard this story, uh, they were claiming that the um, kid chased the guy out of the place and mm -hmm. shot him in the back and killed him. Well, that's not self-defense. You chasing somebody. Act like you running. Bow! 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 Right there. That's not self-defense. Uh, stop! 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 You hear? You punch for mama. Uh, bow! Uh, bow! Uh, bow! Uh, bow! Uh, that's not self-defense. Now, you punch me. Punch me. Punch me. Uh, stop! Stop! Uh, I got a gun! Uh, 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 bow! Uh, bow! Uh, bow! Uh, uh, <laughs> that's self-defense. Put the gun up under the tin. <laughs> Your hat gonna do this. <laughs> hey, keep my hat, man. My hair looking crazy. <laughs> Hurry up, man. My hair looking crazy. <laughs> hat gonna go like this. It's gonna be a bullet hole. <laughs> hat gonna that, going, that 45 going straight through your skull. <laughs> Look, <hat> like this. <laughs> just get sitting there rocking. With, With some smoke coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but turns out they did some investigating. They said, wait a minute, this is self-defense. We jumped, we jumped to conclusion just because there's some black people involved. <laughs> this is Chicago now. <laughs> it's the honest mistake. <laughs> you niggas all crazy up here. So the release her. 
Release the sun. Yeah. Right? They gonna get paid, man. So I'm sitting. How are you gonna show up to a scene and arrest the victim? She just got a butt beat <laughs> and she her son had to save her life. Yeah. And you arrest her. That's just bad police work. That means they didn't do any investigate. You didn't explore anything. You saw a couple black people say, man, there's some sorry ass niggas. I'm gonna go ahead and arrest them. Turns out she's got a CCW permit, which is very hard to get in Chicago. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how she managed that. I don't know, man. She pulled some strings with that. I don't know what she did. But to get a CCW in Chicago is uh, next to impossible. Yeah, she must, you know, have some, she must have a, a, a influential inner circle. But anyway, she got an attorney. Yeah, and that turned you. Yeah, and uh, you know what they talk. You know what that turns like, yeah, time to get paid. <laughs> Yeah. Time to get some reparations over here. <laughs> Check out the press conference. Yeah. What happened to me was totally unnecessary. Yep. Never in a million years. Look at his, I look at his law office behind him. Brutally attacked. He advertised. That nigga advertising his law office. I am thankful that the Sorry ass nigga. Dismiss the case. <laughs> I am also thankful to have he my He got a billboard behind him. Hey, listen. And, and, and by my sad and also his charges That's being capitalism dismissed. Right there. Yeah. I thank my family for supporting me and the people all over the world. The people did not play. Yeah. And I just thank God everything was revealed. Um, and, and just everybody who has been praying and rooting for us, I, I just thank God for them. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, make sure you cry real good. Get that money. Get your money. That's right. That's, That's a good girl. Get that money. Yes. Good morning, everyone. My name is Attorney Brandon Brown. That's B-R-A-N-D-O-N. Last name Brown, B-R-O-W-N. Make sure you spell this that out. This morning, we filed a Get some references. complaint <laughs> uh, <laughs> on behalf of Carlisha Hood. Uh, this complaint is being filed against the city of Chicago. Uh, and the defendant officers who were responsible uh, for her arrest. Uh, the complaint uh, contains counts of malicious prosecution, false arrest, and intentional infliction of uh, emotional distress. That's at least 20 million. That's at least 20 million. Yeah, why are the black attorneys bald headed and got a beard? Stress. They live in Chicago. Y'all bald. That's, that's, a, that's a nice look on him, though, man. He's got a nice clean beard. He looks sharp, too, don't he? Yeah. I like his logo. You see his billboard? Yeah. Hey man, that's, 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 that's a that. huge opportunity. You got all the press coming in. Hey, man, put. I need a billboard in here. <laughs> I need my law office across it. I'm going to make sure I give up my phone number and I'm going to spell out my name <laughs> during the press conference. Because you know niggas can't spell. <laughs> how you spell? Oh, what was his name? Charlie Brown. How you, how you spell it? I think I got a lawsuit too. This nigga shot. That was a damn good show. Damn good show, man. Man, I like, man I'm glad she's seeking justice. Yeah, yeah. Get your reparations. Hey, we giving away some reparations, too. We giving away a free truck. Well, not a free truck. You got to buy something. You got to enter the contest. We got a sweepstakes going. All you got to do to enter is go to our website at officialhorsetwins.com. Buy some up our website, and you enter to win a Ford Raptor. Code orange, fire red, and ten thousand dollars of cold hard white American cash. <laughs> <laughs> he even got a white person on it. <laughs> yeah.